guys, welcome back to Montreal. Today is a very kind of working day. I'm not doing anything really fun today, but I really believe that the way you spend your time is dictating a little bit what results you get in the future. So that's why I spent some time working also a lot. And what I thought I would do today is I would show you guys a little bit how I spend my time. Productivity and trying to achieve the most out of your day, it's kind of a passion of mine, something that I like to think about and work at becoming better at. The way you spend your time dictates what you get in life. And if you spend a lot of time on trading, becoming better, you would be amazed how crazy your future is gonna be. And that's really awesome, because you can tweak the things you do on a daily basis and see results in the future. But let me show with you guys what I do every single day. Starting with the morning. I usually wake up at around 6, 6.30 a.m. Do a little bit of like visualization, meditation, journaling a little bit, having some breakfast and then around 8 I start to work and I usually start with my most important task this morning I did some backlisting from 8 to around 9 like an hour, an hour and a half usually so that's the first hour and a half or almost two hours sometimes of work I like to spend some time during the day exercising but like throughout the day walk or jogging or whatever I've been walking right now which is what I like to do sometimes to just get new ideas and go outside to the sun which is nice and then i get to the video editing so every single day i'm doing a video which is something i started to enjoy doing and today's video took about three hours to edit i'm not done yet which leads us to lunch where i take some time off a little bit i try to keep my calls for the afternoon this afternoon i have a coaching call at 3 p.m i do have some other stuff to do reach out to guests for the podcast stuff like that but so far i didn't talk about training that much and Every four hours, basically, I look at the chart and identify if there's a trade to place or not. In the morning, I try to do a kind of a bigger analysis of looking at all the charts on a higher level so I can identify the zones. And well, let me show you guys what that looks like. So, it is a little bit past 6 p.m. right now, and I didn't check the chart at the candle close at 5 p.m. So, I'm gonna jump right away in the charts. And the way I do it is really simple. Whenever you look at your chart throughout the day, like I do, the last thing you want is to like analyze and do some random stuff on your chart. Everything should be there in advance. You should know exactly what to look for. And it's not time to place any indicator, not time to draw any line. You're just looking to see whether your setup is there. Because I don't want this to be like something where I spend a lot of time on. It, it just shouldn't be that way. So one of my chart is not right. There you go. At 5 p.m., I basically have to look at three things. The first one is this chart right here. Because this chart is the daily chart. A little bit here above. Number two is the forward chart. So this one also closed at five. And the last thing I have to look at is technically this chart right here. Third chart. This is the eight hour chart that closes also at five. I just started to follow the eight hour chart. I didn't follow it before, but now those are the three I look at. And the other one here below is the weekly chart, which I'm not going to look at because it doesn't change that much. So I'll just scroll through all the pairs, one by one. There's about 15 of them. And I'll identify quickly whether my setup is there or not. I'm basically looking for an engulfing candle like this one right here, at the top of the Bungshu band. However, the difference between this one is that this one doesn't happen at the zone. So since the range here is too tight, I'm not gonna take this trade. There we go. So now I can get dinner. And that makes it for a pretty good day. The only thing I'm trying now is I'm trying to kind of relax more a little bit in the evening. Do something that's not work. Although I feel tired sometimes and don't want to work at all, so it's kind of tough sometimes. It's something I'm working on. I don't know if you guys do the same, but I'll try to see how to improve that. Because I do want to work sometimes in the evening, but sometimes I just don't feel like it at all. Comment below with your thoughts, your questions, I want to hear them all the time. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. There's one more video every single day. And tomorrow is going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be a different structure, so you guys are going to see. I'll see you there. Oh, and I still have two trades open on Euro AUD, a long trade, and a short trade on GBP NZD. Two trades that I've been having since last week. We'll see how that goes.